today's whiteboard leadership moment, I want to talk about another distinctive of leadership culture and organizations that I work in. There, there's this tension that we have between, between work and family, between work and, and rest. And, and the way we define it is this, uh, our value is this, we want to work hard, do our best and put family first. What I see is a whole lot of people who work way too much and I see a whole lot of people who prioritize family over work and, the, and it's not a problem to be solved, it's a tension to be managed. This is one of the most challenging of the distinctives of leadership because uh, both are priorities. Both are very, very important. We want to be about the work that God's given us to do. We also want to be about our family. You know, for those of you who work a lot and, and don't spend time with your family, I just want to remind you that uh, you're the only father or mother that your children have. There, there's no one else that can play that role. There's a thousand people that can play your role at work. But there's only one father, only one mother. And so really be careful about, about that, that balance. At the same time, there are expectations at home and there are expectations at work. And so your boss wants you to, to work hard and do your, do your best. And so it's a, it's a tension that has to be managed. Uh, hopefully you have an understanding boss that understands there are certain seasons in life. For example, when your kids are playing sports or uh, when there are special family events, you're, hopefully your boss will give you the opportunity to put family first and to show them uh, that family first uh, scenario. I remember when my uh, oldest son was young, I remember I had a weekend that I took him, I didn't go to church that weekend, don't tell anybody, but I took him to a golf tournament and he was in junior high at the time and I went back home and my wife asked him how his day was. And he said, well, I, I learned something. And she said, what's that? He said, I learned that, that I'm more important to dad than his work. And it was one of those great moments as a dad that you just, you wanna hear uh, that your kids have learned, you're, that you're valuable in, in, in your life. Well, part of this tension is this idea between work and, and rest. Again, it's not exactly about family and work, but work and rest. And, and the fact is, is that uh, people go through seasons where they're you know, impacted more by one than the other. Uh, those who are really high on work, but low on rest, eventually they experience, they experience burnout. We weren't designed to work all the time. That's why God said, take a day off. It's one of the big 10. We need to make sure that we, uh, that we don't work all the time and, and never Never rest. God gave us a Sabbath for, for a reason. And then there are people that, that are very, very high on rest, uh, but not really high on, on work. And I think their problem is, is, is not bore, uh, bur burnout, but boredom. They're just not sure what they're supposed to do. They're not sure who they're supposed to be. They haven't understood God's design for their life. And we need to encourage them in that. And there's these other people that are low on rest and low on, on work. They don't work hard, but they don't rest well either. And so what do you call those people? Well, they're, they're preoccupied. Uh, maybe they're a gamer. Maybe they have some sort of hobby. Maybe there's something else they do that's just got their attention, but it, it doesn't provide the income that they need. It doesn't provide the rest that they need either. And you've got these other people that are both high on rest. They figured out the rhythm of life and they're high on work. They're very, very good at what they do. They're, they're productive. What I'm going to challenge you to do is to figure out where, where are you at? Where are your volunteers at? Where are the people of your church at? And if they're, if they're in the preoccupied uh, uh, place, then I would encourage you to help them decide on something. Decide on why God has created them, what God wants them to do and, and their part in ministry and challenge them to work hard, and, but also to play, to play hard. For those who are uh, very high on work and, and they're just working all the time, they're constantly working, they never learn to rest. They have the, they have the Martha uh, uh, um, symptoms and uh, uh, situations. Then for that person, we wanna help them diversify. Listen, life is more than work. There's also a relationship, there's fun, there's relaxation, there's all these other things. And so help them diversify. For the person who's, who's bored, the person who's all rest and no work, help them to dream. Help them to figure out what, what God has for them and challenge them to step up, to, to be responsible and to serve in significant ways. And then finally, those who are in the productive quadrant, then just ask them to develop others. They figured out a rhythm of life that's worth reproducing. So encourage them to take others on a journey with them. Let them see their rhythms of life and how they treat family and how they treat work, how they focus on, on God and both those things. Make, make sure that they learn to work hard, uh, do their best, and also put their family first. This has been a Converge Whiteboard Leadership Moment. To learn more about Converge or to join us, check out converge.org.